Hey, y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. I appreciate you looking in on me from time to time and checking out where I am and where I've come from. So today's is going to be a quick video. I'm going to have a lot of little clips in here. Uh, what I wanted to do was have a, uh, a, a sort of, you know, just encapsulate all the work that was done downstairs in Crazy Town. I had uh, Ryan, my master electrician, come over and he set me up with all of my electrical work. Of course, I bought the supplies, but he did all the labor. I, I can't even imagine what it would have cost me to have this done. But, uh, you know, when I had those custom built PDUs made, I knew that he was getting into mining a little bit because he's been excited by what I've been telling him. He's been getting more into the ASIC side. So, um, you know, I wanted to surprise him and say thank you for the work he was doing for me. And I bought him a couple really nice PDUs. Uh, like I said, those custom built ones. And, um, and I just want to thank him again for all the work he's done because since he's been here, excuse me, I just had some quiche. Since he's come here and done this work, it has opened up uh, so many projects and so many headaches. And I jokingly say that. Uh, I told him that too because I had so many projects that were just sort of halfway there and I couldn't even get into finishing them because I didn't have enough power. But now... So... Without uh, a further ado, I'm going to show you these little clips of Ryan and down in Crazy Town putting all this stuff together, and then I'll uh, do a, a recap at the end, and I'll show you the finished product, and um, I hope this uh, just sort of gives you an idea of the direction that I've been going and what has led up to this point. So I appreciate it, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all, Euclid Mining, you know what we're doing today. We're doing electric. I got Ryan here. You've heard me talk about him before. He's a legend, um, and he's with us, and we're going to be doing some work. So we've got three 30-amp outlets. We're going to be putting two more outlets right here, one, two. We're going to be putting one upstairs. I have the original two 20-amp breakers here, and we're going to just continue to video a little bit more of this. We just got back from the store buying more wires. we got the plugs. Uh wire to hook these two boxes together we got more of the breakers because we got to do a little a little work in here and combine a couple things together so i will continue to show you what we got going on but for now this is it so i'll wait till he comes back in here and we're going to start doing a little bit more all right we got some of the wires hooked up we got the leads here we got the neutral setup on the first one right here, this braided wire. And we've got that hooked up in here. So let's run out to his truck to grab some more supplies. Let me tell you, I don't know what this job would have cost, but it would have cost a lot, a lot of money. So just the parts that we had to buy when we ran up to Home Depot, we had to buy um, the wire and we had to buy this wire here so we can fit between the sub panel and the main panel. And I spent about 270 bucks just now buying that stuff and the extra breakers I needed to make some space. So, you know, that's out of pocket right now just for this. Plus um, all the, uh, the box that I bought uh, and that was I think like 50 bucks. And then the breakers that I bought, the three of them, plus I had to buy the 100 amp over here. Um, I forget the prices, but you price them out for your local, but you know, uh, you know, probably 75 bucks for uh, the 100. And these are probably like, you know, uh, 20 maybe each. So, you know, you do the math. Uh, this is just the parts that I bought, not to mention the times he's run out to his truck, so. All right, we're back in a minute. We'll just keep checking in. All right, y'all, we're back. And we got the wire here up to the second floor where we're going to put the other 30 amp outlet. And we're going to tie it into this one right here. These two come down and hook up over here. I already got some of the miners back up over on the shelf rack. And we're moving forward. All right, we'll be back. 
Alright guys, we are getting near the finish line. Ryan has all this hooked up. He's going to drop some staples on here just to hold the wires a little more secure so they don't move. Um, but that's it. There it is. There's the box. Going to the sub panel. From main to the sub. Got the wires come out. We're going to hook up two outlets over here. And then we're going to go upstairs and we're going to drop one from the exercise mining room chamber place. All right, y'all, we're back. These little clips, but just try to show you as we go. All right, y'all, so I know it's a little noisy, but I just wanted to come down and show you what we did. So we have the 30 amp. I've got my 30 amp, and I have two 20 amp. Now, right now, I've got the two L3++ running. I have the Z9, um, I have my T17, now the T17, um, I'm changing out the fans inside the power supply, so I've got that kind of uh, taken apart. Um, I bought one of these uh, blowers so I could clean it out a little easier. I saw that on Red Panda Mining, he used that one and I wanted to give it a shot too. So that's what I have. Here is my new sub panel, let's go ahead and grab that one. And as you can see, I've got both of the 30 amp, uh, or, or three of the 30 amps in there. And the sub panel runs off of this one here, this 100 amp breaker. And then in here I have the uh, 20 amp breaker that runs for both of those. So that's where I've gotten it so far. Now that I have the power down here in Crazy Town, I can go ahead and start building out over here and bringing the other three L3 plus miners that I have upstairs plus the T17 and the Z9. I have more than enough power to do that. Now, you saw that I only have two outlets here for the 30 amp, but I have three of them here. That's because two of them come down here. Uh, I have to sheetrock and close all this back up again. But um, I have two of them come down and one goes up. And we are gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you that one. So hang on one second. All right, so this is where the other wire came, that's my new Raven coin miner. And I just got my fourth GPU in today. I haven't installed it yet, but I'm gonna put that in and the fifth one should be here like in no time and that will get that going. So I hope you check out my Raven coin mining video, but there's the outlet back here. Uh, I didn't get the plate for it, I bought one, but the plate had uh, the circle on it, was too small. So I have to get the one with the larger opening. Uh, for that circle plug, that's the 30 amp, that's the twist lock. And then of course, if any of you saw my PDU video, that I had a custom built PDU, uh, there it is right there. I had four of them made. Um, it's uh, metered with the uh, network support. I had uh, two of them that I have, and I gave two of them to Ryan, who did all this work, plus a bunch of other stuff. And helping him get set up so because he helped me get set up so anyway that's where that came so we're gonna hop back up onto the, the work table here and as you can see my grow tent project that's why that was put up here especially for this so i can uh, start working on that one next but i'll be right back all right so there it is uh that's the electric work now with that electric work that allows me to put in the T17, like I said, the three L3 Plus that I just got, and I'm seeing if I could get anything out of that S17. I I decided not to have it, them look at it when I dropped it off at East Coast Mining. Uh, they said it was really kind of beyond repair. So when I picked up the T17, they did a little work on that one to sort of refurbish it. Uh, when I got it back, I brought that S17 and I left it with them. And uh, usually they want two or three weeks, you know, to get their projects, you know, to they have so many other ones they're working on. Um, I said, look, you know, I'll see you in two months. So we'll see if the S17 comes back any better. Two, two boards are dead. And um, I, had to, uh, I had to shut that off. It was pulling the uh, resources. Uh, anyway. <laughs> You can see the light probably looks crazy in here. Like I said, I just rearranged this entire room because of the grow tent behind me. And now I've got the miner over here. Uh, I used to sit back over this way anyway. It's, it's the light is and the thing. Um, 
so I'm just figuring it all out right now. I haven't really finished setting up. I've got monitors all over this desk. It's uh, if you could see what I'm looking at, you'd I don't know if you'd laugh or cry. So <laughs> anyway, um, with all this new electric, you know, I'll be able to get those things in there. That uh, back the S17, it has one working board. It's an S17 plus. It has one working board. The other two, they felt that were not repairable. I said, keep it, just see what you could do. So, you know, let's keep one finger crossed on each uh, board. But if they're able to get it going, great. If not, I'm probably just going to sell it. I, I could plug it in and it obviously would work. But uh, the prices right now are so high that uh, an S17 Plus with only one board is selling for like, I don't know, like $2,300, $2,400 on eBay. And, you know, whatever. Uh, I, can I don't know. I could take that money. Uh, buy, you know, three more of the GPUs I need for my, uh, my Raven coin. So, uh, cause I'll have the five and this, I got an eight card rig, so I would love to fill that up. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of possibilities, but with this electric, now I can do my grow tent project and, um, now I can move the GPUs from the, uh, bedroom into uh, the exercise mining room cave place, the room, um, and I can get them all in the grow tent. Uh, once I get the Raven coin rig and the other one in there, um, then I can start looking into, like I said, either uh, selling that S17 plus and getting more of this and finishing this one off completely, or maybe buying something else. But because Ethereum is going away in just a few months, you know, is it worth buying a GPU right now um, for Ethereum? I don't know. I think I'm probably just going to look into four gigabyte cards and uh, and just start heading in that direction for now and see if I can get some good deals on them. It's funny, the four gigabyte cards are selling for almost as much as the eight gigabyte cards when I look, say, on eBay. It's uh, it's crazy. But I'm going to see if I find some, some deals on that. So anyway, y'all, that's it. That's the electric story. Um, I am just super excited. I am so grateful to Ryan for coming out here. Uh, and with all this added power, I'm going to be able to continue, uh, you know, uh, not not tied down to power restrictions like I have been. Because, uh, you know, I have to have one in here. I have to have one in there. I can't have them all in the same room because I can't pull that much power. Uh, because most rooms, uh, the plug outlet on one side of the room and the other side of the room, they're all chained together. And then they go down to your panel. And then the next room, all of those outlets in that one room are all chained together. And then at the end, it goes down to your panel. So even if you think you can plug one in on one side and then plug one on the other side and they're in different outlets, so you think that's fine, it's still pulling from the same breaker, that same, you know, bedroom breaker or, you know, whatever room breaker that you're on. So you have to spread these out in order to do this the way that I've been doing it. And, um, you know, with the two 20 amp outlets downstairs, I could get, um, you know, four L3 plus, let's say running down there and, uh, or the, uh, two L3 plus plus that I have now on one and then just the T17 on just the other. But then I had nowhere to go after that. So with these two 30 amp breakers, I'm going to be able to put, I could put probably all five on one outlet. I mean, depending on how I clock them, if I didn't overclock them much, you might even squeeze a sixth one on there. Of course, you want to always consult with an electrician before you do any work uh, like this that I'm talking about. And um, and don't don't pass that 80% uh, 80, 80 or 90%. I don't know. Uh, 80%. Let's go with 80% because I don't want to burn my house down. So I'm going to follow an 80% rule. <laughs> If that's a thing, I think it's a 90% rule well, you're supposed to follow, but I, I'm too nervous. Uh, I, I don't want any problems. That's why I put extras in there so I could split this all up and just not even care. I mean, if I put, you know, three L3 plus on one 30 amp, you know, two and the Z9 minor on the other one, and then I put the T17 on that one 20 amp, I still have another 20 amp available that I could put another big machine or two more L3++ or something like that if I wanted to. So I have room to grow. 
And um, once I, uh, I get Ryan back over to really, you know, nail down exactly and, and look at my rates of power that each one's pulling, and he'll educate me more on what I can and can't do. So, um, yeah, I'm not an electrician. Don't listen to me. Listen to your electrician who's licensed in your state and follow his direction. Um, I do not want to hear about someone burning their house down uh, or something stupid. So uh, don't be stupid. Leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. I hope I get a thumbs up on this one. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time.